All right, folks, so today I'm here with the go-kart, and I'm going to be building a two-inch lift for it so that I can get a little bit more clearance. I'm going to do the rear today, and then another day I'm going to do the front. But yeah, I'm going to be getting the rear done tonight. All right, so here's the go-kart. I'm just going to be doing the rear for right now because it's a lot more simple. I'm just going to cut right here on both sides and then drop it about two inches, and that should give me, obviously, two inches of lift. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to start by taking off the rear axle, and then uh, we'll get straight to it. So this rear axle is actually really easy to get out. It's just four bolts, and uh, I got all th three of them out, and then I'm just pulling off the fourth one right now. And the whole rear axle should just drop. And just like that, we got the rear axle out. Okay, so we got the whole rear axle dropped out, and I'm just going to look at this for a second and see whether I want to weld something onto this, or if I want to cut this, extend it, and weld it farther down. Um, the other side is nearly identical. And um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. If I extend this, we're gonna get some lift. And I'm thinking about two to three inches would be good because I wanna take this thing off-roading and I don't want to be hitting on anything and that will give me plenty of clearance. But unlike the golf cart, I don't wanna go too tall with this. And uh, yeah, so I want it to be functional. And uh, if I go too high, it'll flip too easy. But if I go too low, I'm not really gonna get many clearance out of it. But yeah, I'm just gonna think for a second. I'll let you guys know what I come up with for an idea. And uh, yeah, I'll update you guys. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some sections out of this quarter inch steel. I'm gonna cut it out about three inches, cut this, weld it in there, weld in some supports from the frame, and uh, I think we'll call it a day there. All right, so we got this jank piece of steel in the vise, and now we're just gonna cut it right on that line. That's three inches, then I'm gonna do another three inches. Move over to this side, do a three inch piece and a three inch piece, and then uh, that should be it for our scrap steel lift. All right, so we got the good old sketchy cutoff wheel and we're gonna be cutting off the uh, axle mounts and then I got the other pieces cut out and then I'll uh, grind them all down and weld them all in, but here's me cutting it out. All right, so basically I got these pieces that I cut out from right here. I'm gonna weld in the pieces that I cut out just about right there, and that should give me three inches of lift. I got them all four cut off, and I got these all measured and cut out. Yes, it's jank, but I literally do not care. This was a last minute decision, and uh, it should be fun. All right, so I got one piece tacked in, as you can see right here, and uh, obviously, like I said before, this is just gonna get welded to the bottom, and that's where the axle mounts up to. That's where I'm gonna stop for tonight, and uh, I'll come back tomorrow and make some more progress on this thing. All right, so it's the next day and uh, we're grinding on the uh, go-kart. Just got some of the brackets welded up and I'll show you guys my progress. All right, there she is. Uh, basically, that's just the lift. Um, this just bolts right to that. And uh, yeah, I already made sure that it lines up and everything. I'm gonna finish welding it and then uh, possibly build some supports. But I think for now, I'm just gonna let it sit so I can see how it's gonna sit. I'm gonna finish the other side and I'll let you guys know when I'm done with that. All right, so we made a ton of progress. We got them all welded up and uh, made sure that all the bolts fitted in and everything. And uh, yeah, so that's the three inch lift. I'm gonna throw the rear axle back in it and then just see how she sits and then finish welding it another time. But I'd say for about three hours of work, that was pretty good. Got a lot of progress done. Uh, it's almost completely done. I just need to build some small supports for it, but I'm gonna get it sitting on some tires so I can see you guys, show you guys what it looks like. And then uh, that'll be the end of the video. All right, so here's how it sits right now. Obviously, it's a little bit raked, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to obviously finish up the drivetrain. But that's the lift, bit sketchy, bit redneck, but it works. Three inch lift on a go-kart. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'll keep making videos about this thing because obviously it's not done, but I just wanted to get a video out. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, we're almost at a thousand subs and uh, peace out.